to a time when gravity began to draw gas into the first galaxies. A quasar is the product of a massive black hole in the center of a galaxy that is swallowing huge volumes of gas and stars. A flood of blinding radiation erupts. Not only is this an interesting process, the notion that we could have a black hole of a billion solar masses shining more brightly than a thousand galaxies, that's pretty wild. But this was, these are signposts. These were uh, a phase in the lifetime of infant galaxies. And we can see them to great distances. So they are beacons out there at the edge of the universe showing us when galaxies first began to form. In time, as they consumed their fuel, quasars like these grew dim. But the black holes that powered them remained. Today, they are thought to loom at the heart of many a galaxy, including our Milky Way. There are two reasons why black holes are important. One is because it's increasingly obvious that they play uh, a major role in shaping the universe, uh, both at the centers of galaxies and uh, as the remnants of burnt out stars. And we still have uh, yet to learn a lot about them. Uh, but there's a deeper reason, I think, why they're important. The black hole conceals uh, something which is very profound, which is often given the word singularity. Uh, this is like an edge or a boundary to space-time. It's a point where space and time, so to speak, uh, come to an end. As we look out into space, we probe a universe we can see, one whose matter emits light strong enough for our telescopes to record. But there is another side to our universe, one that has evaded our detection. In fact, fully 90% of the universe is unseen and unidentified. Astronomers call it simply dark matter. Mysterious particles, countless burned out stars or black holes, whatever it is, dark matter is out there. 